Now, you might be asking yourself why I would do this utterly pointless thing and make a video about it. Well, my friend, we all do things in life which we eventually come to regret. After uploading the image and setting its location to Norway, it decided that it was either a harbor seal or a fly aragic mushroom. Why would God create an organism as perfect as the trilobite, only to let it die out 250 million years ago? Either God is cruel and uncaring, or God is incapable of saving his most precious creations. To the tombs of the ancient Zepho, which give off a classic Indiana Jones vibe. Although, I will say, Cal Kestis does not have the same concern for ancient artifacts that Dr. Jones does. Now, I know a lot of people aren't interested in botany, but please understand that it's not the plant's fault that they're so boring. However, as a gamer, the only sinful beverage I imbibe is Mountain Dew Gamer Fuel. But then I remembered that CSGO had hostage mode, and thought to myself that that would be the perfect place to implement seals. Boone is a hardcore botanist, and upon seeing something that wasn't a plant, promptly shot the animal dead. I'm not sure if it's a real country, as it isn't always included on all the maps, like a real country would be, and some places refuse to recognize their passports, on the basis that the whole thing seems made up. There was a time in history when whaling was a major economic force, providing oil for lamps, industrial soaps, and even margarine. Yes, you can't believe it's not butter, because that's right, it's a fucking whale. After that, Boone and I conducted a botany experiment by following around a tumbleweed. I remember this one game where you piloted a helicopter through a cave, and honestly, I cannot imagine a worse place for a helicopter to be. For a game about harvesting the crystalline excrement of amorphous abominations, Slime Rancher has surprisingly good vibes. English tears are the only ones we need today. Just imagine returning to your buggy and finding it surrounded by half a dozen seals. Famously, or infamously, in Lord of the Rings, meat is back on the menu, boys. And oh boy, do the people of New Zealand love meat. From sausage rolls to meat pies to this oops all meat dish that I saw in the menus at Denny's New Zealand, this country is a carnivore's paradise. Trilobites are in fact not real. 